Hello and uh, welcome back. Um, today I have another power supply. It's from uh, Farnell. It's the ET 30 stroke 2 and it should do uh, 30 volts by 2 amp and it can do that twice. I bought this uh, in the Dutch eBay marketplace, uh, but I think I will call it a barn find because if you look closely I think uh, <laughs> it, I, I don't know where it's been but it has not been in, a, in an office and uh, I, I will zoom in yeah this is it uh, up close it is uh, missing one button it is super dirty I hope the meters work I, I hope that uh, anything works uh, to be honest uh, there are a few smart things as I see here is that the voltage meter goes to 30 volts but you can also switch it to 15 volts, so then it's more precise. I think it works like that, that would make sense. Uh, so that is nice. Mm. Oh, it is very dusty. It's the ET30 stroke 2. As you can see, it is serial number 120, so it's, uh, I would say, one of the first. And uh, yeah, well, if you look at the top. It is super, super dirty. So uh, I wonder what we will find inside if they leave any animals in or not. And uh, if it works, so uh, let's first see if it uh, does work. So uh, let's fire it up. It's always nice from the final. I noticed the same in my millivolt meter that they have this, well, they have this very tiny cable. Well, it probably, probably doesn't take too much power, although this is a power supply. Um, so, but uh, they have these nice hooks and it all, uh, yeah, it's to, to store it nicely, that is nice. Uh, we have a power plug, so uh, let's see what happens. Okay, put my multimeter, I think you can see, yeah, because the other one is too much in the back and you probably will not see it. So let's try to switch it on. This is uh, input on, well, that's probably the main input then. Yes, okay, I see, okay, it is, oh, 30 volt 1 amp or 15 volts 2 amps, okay, so, this is the course, my god, the buttons are stuck, no, that doesn't do anything, the fine does work a little bit, but, okay, we need to clean that before I break something, and the same for this one, 30 volt 1 amp or 15 volts 2 amp. And this one is also stuck. <laughs> the fine does work a little bit. So uh, we put it on 30, on 30, and let's see what we have. Um, 30 volts, so it should have 10. Yes, it does have more or less 10 volts. Hmm. Yeah, the connections are also dirty. Yeah. This one, 30. F that should have about 20. <laughs> 19 volts. Oh, if I turn. Yeah, okay. So. Um, that, se that seems to work, so uh, let's clean, let's try to get this button uh, loose, and uh, yeah. Now look at it, it is dirty, it is super dusty, and uh, the, the dust also came inside as you can see. Yes. Um, and they do have those old voltmeters. That is really cool. Well, it looks like like quality, but it's Farnell, so it should be. And uh, yeah, the boards are just sliding the, to the connectors. And uh, okay, let's open some more. I'm having now a closer look. 
and uh, if I uh, unscrew the screws from the front in the bottom and then I can just slide it out because it slides it's uh, put in the connectors here and there are also two wires here in the that go to the transistors and you can just pull that out that is also with the with the connector right there in the back and uh, and then we have a good access so uh, I will do exactly that Okay, that worked exactly as predicted, so now uh, we just have the front. I pulled it out from the connectors and then automatically these already fell out. So I need, need to see also that I fixed these cables uh, a lot uh, better. This one and this one. And uh, yeah, well, now we have good access, maybe I take the meters out also. And uh, we can just start cleaning the pots to see if we can get those uh, running again. And, I've loosened all the screws, all the wires are loose, the only thing that I needed to solder was the little light, the power light, and now I should be able to just take this out. goes and that's a lot more easy to clean these go here oh the meter seem to be magnetic I don't know why All the rings stick to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we have the front all loose. I think I will also take out the meters and the uh, connectors, and then uh, we have a proper clip. So we have taken out the meters, also says far and all, they are nicely damped, so that is cool, let's uh, finish. Now we have here the front and now it's super easy to clean and we can do a proper clean so uh, let's do that. Now I'm cleaning the front I have this uh, just it's a multi-purpose but I think it's an IPA alcohol thingy it's a flux remover degreaser contact cleaner it's an all-in-one but it it's like a wonder look it's like new the stickers just go off super that is nice i uh, just kept uh, trying and trying to put a contact cleaner in between uh, the pots first i needed to use my plier and then now i can just 
do with my fingers. It's already loose. It, uh, yeah, it took me like five minutes to um, put the contact cleaner, try, contact cleaner, try, wait 10 minutes, try, and then now it's loose and it turns super smooth. So uh, that's good, we don't need to replace those. Good start. So this is the before and after uh, clean. I was even to, I managed to uh, get all the scratches out of the screen with um, copper brush cleaner circle motion over your scratches and it just removes it just you can just polish them out here yeah. like new so uh, let's see if we can finish today i uh, already did some cleaning i started to do this outside because it was getting too dusty uh, in my desk and uh, well at least it does look a lot better and i even opened up the back and uh, they use a lot of uh, 3055s and um, yeah, usually you, you see that they use one for 2 to 3 amps but here they just use two for 2 amps and uh, it's a double supply so that's why they do this twice so they, uh, they don't get around they, uh, they just want to be sure it, it works properly so I'm, I'm happy to see this, it looks good everything clean we're gonna put it back together again so uh, everything is connected again back in its place now we uh, need to do the pots Okay, now it's all uh, back together. Um, I'm missing one uh, button, which is a pity, but uh, I can. See, I will look if I can find uh, more or less the same, and then I do change the four of them, and then you will not see. Or I need to find exactly this uh, this one. But um, yeah, when I put it back together, I broke a leg of the light. I tried to repair it, so uh, let's see uh, if that worked. The light is still working, so we fixed that. That is good. And uh, well, the pots are working. Look at that. This one. Perfect. I will uh, continue to put it together. I think it looks amazing. Look at this, those analog meters. A little bit damped. Ah, it's great. Pity uh, we don't have the, the last button, maybe I look for these with a black cover to, uh, to replace all four, but uh, for now uh, this is it, look, have a closer look, shiny and new. <laughs> so that's it, the project is finished. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.